Okay guys, hi. Uh, we're doing new moon energy for each sign. I started with Virgo because, you know, Virgo. And um, I'm going to do Aries now. Aries, would you like Aries to know in the new moon energy, Aries? I'm hearing Taurus, why am I hearing Taurus? I'm sorry, Aries, I have to skip you. This is going to be for Taurus after all. Like, it's like very loud. Uh, this, uh, this is definitely Taurus energy for some reason. That's strange. What do you want Taurus to know in the new moon energy? What would you like Taurus to know, this new moon energy? I'm getting heat throughout my body. Um... Take that as it resonates. It could be an illness coming on, Taurus. Or um, a change of climate. I don't know. Strange. That's I don't recall that happening before. Ooh, okay. We have the sun here. Um, I'm going to finish pulling cards before I say what the sun is because sometimes the sun is a healing energy like again maybe you are sick and this is saying that you are uh, going to feel better or this could be like a situation that is working in your benefit this could also be just like I said maybe you're going to a different climate where it's a bit warmer we'll see strength is in reverse though so you are struggling with something maybe emotionally could be physical if you are not feeling well. We have the Five of Cups here. Um, so the Five of Cups to me um, it varies. It varies throughout readings for me. Sometimes I see the Five of Cups as somebody just not really appreciating what is what they don't see or what they don't they don't want to recognize right now. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords, so there's going to be some sort of um, communication. We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I may have to clarify that. And we have the Devil. Some, um, I feel like, so again, with the Devil, energy could go various different things but I immediately see that there's these two people chained together so um you may be in um possibly a a toxic situation toxic relationship with somebody you're having a hard time um unchaining yourself from but let's see we are going to clarify so let's see okay I have to do a, a reading for somebody in a few minutes so I don't know how many of these I'll get up first what is this? Um, let's clarify first the Five of Cups. I really feel like the sun. Okay, so it's the Ace of Wands in reverse. I'm going to finish clarifying this first. Let me do Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify that. Death in reverse. Whoa, Taurus, no wonder I had to pull for you. This is pretty heavy energy right here. I do not, I do feel like you, you might be coming down with something or just getting over something. However, um, uh, the sun, I feel like is you setting off into a new path, okay, um, for your own happiness. However, with strength in reverse and the five of cups with the ace of wands in reverse, something didn't turn out the way I think that you anticipated it um but it was for a reason okay so it was this is setting you on a different path so even though it it, it potentially um disappointed you with the five of cups I definitely think that there was a a legitimate reason for this that it's going to work in your favor but we haven't gotten to that yet so queen of swords um 
there will be some potential, like maybe an apology or unhappy news uh, or communication with somebody. Um, somebody, this could be work related even. With the seven of pentacles in reverse and death in reverse, um, you're refusing to potentially move forward or make the changes that are necessary right now. Um, you're holding back with something. It could be emotionally, it could be physically, I don't know, but you are holding back and you're feeling very tied to something um, even though you're not really ever, you know, you could be energetically tied to something. So let's see, let's let's continue and pull a couple more cards here because I wouldn't want to end with this energy. This is very, you know, it's almost like a almost negative energy for you and I wouldn't want to end the read on here. What else? What else in the new moon do you need Taurus to know? Ooh, we have the Knight of Swords with the Queen of Swords. So you're definitely um, involved with somebody and I feel like the communication is going to be pretty rough and maybe extreme during this time. Now, keep in mind, tomorrow, um, Venus and Saturn are in conjunction, I believe, and that, that could cause a lot of like arguments. Um, Mars is like predominant right now, a lot of um, like uh verbal issues with everybody communication is just not at its best right now and especially with venus um the planet of love i just i'd be careful on sunday when it's you know the worst day for relationships um to communicate or you know whatever however um this is going to happen like regardless like there is going to be some sort of rough conversation with somebody me. How is this going to end for Taurus, please? How is this going to end for Taurus, please? With the Queen of Cups in reverse. So um, I feel like you or your person, I really feel like it's you, I don't think it's your person, are taking back any sort of emotions that you have for each other. Um, I see air sign, I see Leo, predominantly Leo. Um, I see uh, Scorpio, Capricorn, Pisces, um, with the Ten of Cups. So there is sort of an ending here. Uh, this conversation is going to untie you from the situation. You won't you wouldn't pull the devil once again there it needs to be some sort of conversation that's going to be hurtful or um you know maybe aggressive pointed but once it's done it's done and you'll be able to detach and and realize that um it really wasn't like what you thought it was anyway but i do see you breaking free i do see that you um kind of like come to terms with it and realize that, yeah, there's no growth here. The bottom of the deck is three of pentacles in reverse. So there was nothing to build on um, anyway. So take it as it resonates and uh, um, hopefully in a few days we'll see a difference.